Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this beautiful glittery mermaidy look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize, prime my face. I have no idea what product this is, but I will list it down below for you guys. And I'm just applying this all over my face. Then I'm gonna go ahead and move on with my um, pore primer just to cover up my pores a little bit so my foundation looks a lot smoother this one is from cover fx and i'm just applying this wherever my pores are huge so i'm just applying this right around my nose and forehead and chin so i'm going to go ahead and use frankie rose foundation and this is in the color neutral you can definitely use uh, grace for some money off if you guys are interested in trying their products <coughs> And I really do like their foundation. It keeps me matte all day, so definitely check them out. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of setting spray and then just blend everything into my skin. Um, I'm still trying to figure out because I did move a little bit of the settings on my camera. So here I forgot to lower down the brightness, so I do look a little too bright. So my bad. But I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with a new uh, e.l.f. sponge. I don't know if it's like the black one, but it totally does feel different. I don't know what it is. So anyways, I'm going to go with the Cover FX uh, Concealer. I forgot the color of it, but I will list it on the bottom bar for you guys if you guys are interested. Um, and I'm just going to blend that out with the same e.l.f. sponge. And I really like it because it is uh, full coverage, I feel like it does cover. Uh, like I always say, I only use it just to uh, brighten up under the eyes, forehead, chin, nose. I don't really use it to cover up anything, but I really like how the coverage is. Then I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with the setting powder from Too Faced, the Peach Perfect Setting Powder. You guys know this is my holy grail. So I'm just using this to set my whole face, and I really love this product. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my bronzer. This is a Silly Betante from Morphe, and you guys know this is one of my favorite products as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on my forehead, jawline, cheeks, just to contour a little bit to make my face look a little slim. Um, just using a Marc Jacobs brush, and I'm just making sure that everything is really nice and blended. I do kind of like to apply a little bit harsh just so when i blend everything out i don't really lose a lot of the product so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it, then i just go back and blend everything out so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my blush i'm using the Too faced uh, i think this is the watermelon one it smells really good and it's very pretty so i'm using that one and then i just go back and blend everything out just to make sure that everything blends evenly together then for highlight, I am using Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter, and you can use Pretty Grace or some money off their products. I really love their highlighters. They are amazing. You guys can see they really pop a lot in. Every time I wear a Ofra Cosmetics highlighter, I get so many compliments on my highlighter and what it is. So definitely check them out. Really love their highlighters. So I'm just applying this wherever I want to get, I want to be highlighted. Then I just go back and blend everything out. If this is a lot for you guys, definitely can tone it down. But you guys know me, I really like my highlights. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use my James Charles palette for this look. I'm going to be using the white shadow. I did use a, I don't know what it's called, but I'll show you guys in the next clip, like when I do the other eye, you guys can see the product that I use to prime my eye. So I'm using the white shadow first and I'm making sure that I set that primer just in that inner corner. Then I'm going with a little bit of that purple. This primer actually made the shadows pop a lot more. I just wish that I had gone a little bit higher than this. I was trying to play it safe and not go so high up. But if you go a little bit higher, definitely the shadow will um, stand out a lot more, I feel. So try that. If not, just keep it safe and just don't go too high up like I did. So I'm just applying this right onto the outer corner of my lid. Then I'm going to go with this green shadow with a blending brush just to help me blend this out. 
and I'm just applying this right onto my crease and I'm taking it slowly so I'm going um, little by little before I really put down that color because I just wanted to make sure that I didn't go too high up so I'm working this color in and making sure that it is as bright as I wanted then I'm going to mix the yellow and the lime green and blend that harsh line out just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. I do take my time and I do blend this out as much as I can. If you do lose any of the colors, you can definitely go back and reapply them. So that's a good thing about makeup, but I just wanted to make sure that everything is really nice and pigmented. So I do take my time and blend everything, apply, then blend everything. After that, I'm going to go ahead with that blue shadow and I'm going to apply this where I apply the green just to give me like a little bit more of a contrast. I do want it to have all these colors in my eyes. So I went back applied that blue then i blended out with that green and then i went back with that lime green and the yellow color to blend everything out so then i'm going with the shimmery shade and i'm applying this right onto my brow bone um, the only thing i do wish i had done is done my eyebrows a little darker because i kind of did them light and when i took the pictures my eyebrows really look light so that's the only thing I do regret not darkening my eyebrows. So I went ahead and I used the Urban Decay Metal Glitters and I mixed almost all of them except one and I made this glittery thing. I did on the other eye apply this with my finger and it applies better with finger because I kind of didn't want it to be chunky. I want it to be kind of blended out glitter. So with the brush it did make it all go in one spot. So when I did it with my finger on the other eye, it actually did what I wanted to like kind of blend everything out and have everything actually have everything separated the way I wanted. So you guys can see I used a Makeup Forever <coughs> stick. I forgot that what it is, but I took a class with um, Makeup Forever a few years back and they gave us these sticks and I was cleaning my makeup station and I found it and I'm like, I need to try this as a primer. So that's what I did. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did to this eye that I did to the other one. So you guys can see and I will be back when we're moving on to the finishing touches. So I'm going to go ahead with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara in the waterproof and I am just applying some mascara to them, preparing them for the false lashes that I'll be applying and I just wanted to do that just to kind of, you know, prepare them because I like my lashes to be lifted and not kind of drooping so that helps a lot as well and then I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of that green on the bottom lash line, the one that I used on my crease, doing with a pencil brush from Morphe. Definitely check them out. You can use Pretty Grace for some money off online or in stores of Morphe. Then I applied some of that yellow and lime green and blended those into that green. Then I applied a little bit of white as well. 
so oh and then I applied a little bit of blue just to kind of make it a little bit deeper so yeah all right then I just applied with my finger that white shadow just so that it just kind of blends in with the top as the bottom and then I went ahead and applied some of them same mascara to the bottom lashes as well then I went ahead and applied my Araceli Beauty lashes in Chewy and I'm just applying them as close as I can to my real lashes. It's a lot easier to apply lashes when you're not wearing any nails. So yeah, so it was a lot easier for me to apply my lashes because I didn't have my nails on. So yeah. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my liquid lipstick. I'm using this new one from Time Los Angeles. You can use code GRACE5 for some money off. I'll link them everything down below for you guys if you guys are interested in purchasing some stuff. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply one more coat of mascara just to make everything pop a little bit more and yeah that should be the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment and subscribe let me know if you guys want to see more colorful looks and yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video love you guys bye